When I'm doing reconnaissance work, I love finding old workings like this one because they can tell me so much about what I'm looking for in the mineralisation system. And the best place to look is in the old mullock dumps because they usually have a good selection of the ore, the waste rock, the alteration and everything else that came out of that hole in there. In this case it was right beside a forestry road we were driving along and the mullock dump's been pushed down the side of the hill as road fill. So let's go down there and have a look and see what we can find. So we're down below the embankment of the road here and you can see most of it's made up of broken pieces of mullock from the old mine. Most of them have got a bit of a brown stain on them suggesting there's a bit of sulphide in there and I can see a few pieces with a bit of vein here and there. So let's break one or two pieces open and see what we can find. Here's a nice piece with a big vein in it and it's got lots of sulphide in it and it's got the vein and the alteration on both sides of the vein. So here's a close-up view of that vein. You can see it's filled mostly with quartz and I can see here that that quartz has fine comb texture. Over here you can see a bit that's got uh, cockade texture radiating around from a fragment here. And there's the altered wall rock there. That grey green colour is strong sericite quartz alteration. So I know it's philic facies alteration. And the sulphides, there's some sphalerite and galena in these patches here. There's some pyrite there, and those grey patches in the middle are arsenopyrite. So I know that that galena event came first, it's on the wall of the vein, then the quartz, and then the arsenopyrite in the middle. And all that tells me not just the parogenesis of the vein and what to look for when I'm out elsewhere in the field, but also the geochemistry signature that this will have if we're doing soil samples or other rock chip sampling. I know exactly that this kind of vein will have a high lead zinc arsenic signature in all of those geochemical surveys. This one's been particularly useful because some of the outcrops we've been finding elsewhere in this district have got low sulfidation epithermal style veins. But these clearly aren't that. So now we know there's at least two systems operating here and this one will have quite a different signature to the other one. Much higher base metals and fine comb quartz and philic alteration. That's very different and it'll change the way we look for things when we're out in the field. So when you come across an old working, don't miss the opportunity to look around the mullock dump. There's a lot of really useful information to be had in those piles of brown rock.